Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. Um, this is for those of you that are in troubled relationships and um, wondering whether you should stay or go. So uh, this is for the sign of Scorpio and this is for the month of May going uh, forward. These are general messages, so they're not going to uh, resonate with everyone. Okay, so let's begin. Um, the current state of this relationship, um, you may feel that uh, your partner is being very secretive, um, that they're doing things in secret, and um, you may be wondering if they are the right person for you or not. You, because of this, uh, because of what's going on here, you're thinking of, of leaving or of moving away. Um, you're feeling uh, discouraged with this card here. I feel that um, this card serves as a warning that what is going on here uh, can get worse. I feel that you're you're very anxious. Um, it's like you live in worry or you live in fear of uh, what's going on here with your partner. Um, you don't trust them. This, um, you don't trust them, but it's like you think uh, back to the happier times. And, and I think that this is what uh, holds you or um, encourages you to try to to keep trying if you know what I mean you feel like there is um, unfinished business here you want to stay in this in this partnership you really do but there are uh, there's a lot of stress and worry here um, I feel that there is probably uh, days where things are better. Again, we have this card of reflection, uh, of worrying, of um, of wanting this opportunity with this person. You really do, like I said, want to stay in this relationship, but there's a lot of worries. You don't trust the person. For some of you, this is going to be somebody you're with that you're, it's like you're giving them a second chance, okay? Um, this could have been a uh, relationship from the past. This could have been uh, or can be a couple that you were back and forth. Um, you could be, you could be in denial about something. Um, you could be um, denying that to yourself that this really is over. You know what I mean? For some of you, because you want so bad to have this uh, opportunity, this chance with this person. If you stay in this relationship, you um, you are worried whether you can turn this card back up the way it used to be. Presently, it's here. 
So um, I feel that you are emotionally unfulfilled. For some of you, maybe the passion is lacking or the passion is not there anymore. You don't want to have any regrets either. You fear that it may, you fear this ending, okay? This is what you are in denial about uh, because the relationship is just not moving forward. And so, but you really want this, sec this second chance or this opportunity uh, that you have now to, um, to like restore this uh, loving union to the way it was before. Perhaps you fear that it's like a last chance. Um, reasons to go is because you can't trust this person. You, it's like you feel like you're in the dark. Um, you're confused. You may feel that they don't love you. And it causes you a lot of worry, a lot of stress. You may fantasize um, to back to the past, fantasizing about the better times because I see that here, um, over here, and it's reflecting here also. So your reasons for going really are that you can't trust them, that you can't see clearly and you're stressed out all the time. This, um, you may feel that this person, either that they don't love you or that they're, they're not being faithful to you or they're not being honest with you um, or that they're not showing you their true feelings or speaking about how they truly feel. Um, I feel that this, is uh, a burden for you. Um, for some of you, this is going to be about a partner who was unfaithful. And your reasons for leaving is that it's like you, you don't, uh, you feel like it could be a waste of time. Because like I said, I feel like You've been through this before with this person. Um, maybe this person is non-committal. Like I said, they don't speak up how they truly feel, so it leaves you in a position where you have to wonder, you know. Um, you may feel like they're using you for some of you, um, like they've tricked you. And so you are of two minds here and wondering whether you should um, release this or not. And um, what I see here I feel that there is um, there is some uh, troubling news that is coming. More delays, uh, a lot of work ahead of you with regards if you if you stay, okay. So you will be looking at that and some sort of news um, or revelation or confession even that comes forward. Um, If you are thinking or leaning more towards staying, you need to rethink this. Um, 
we have here also uh, a card of possi possible uh, legal um, disputes or domestic disputes. So I, I feel that this is a very rocky relationship. And I, I feel that there is some sort of, and perhaps this news that does come in is going to, because there's some sort of troubling uh, or disappointing or some sort of bad news that you will be receiving. Um, that may uh, help you to make up your mind. Um, I foresee um, a lot of arguing, a lot of a uh, very challenging, you're in a very challenging uh, time in this relationship. I can't tell you what to do. You, you need to, uh, this is your path. Uh, all I can do is tell you the possibilities here um, of what, you know, what you can expect. I feel that uh, if you go, you, you will feel like a great burden uh, has been lifted from your shoulders um, because this has very much tired you out um, because you're, you're constantly living with worry, with fear here from what I see. Um, and you, you don't trust. How can you, how can you have a relationship or build a relationship if you don't trust somebody, uh, someone? If you constantly uh, feel that they have hidden motives. So this is what I have for you, um, Scorpio, and um, I hope that this helps somebody out there, and I thank you so much for watching. Many blessings, and bye for now.